Hi, it's Tim, and welcome to Angel Tarot Card Readings by Tim. And this is our weekly Angel Oracle Card Reading for Monday, May 11th through Sunday, May 17th. And I hope all of you had a wonderful week last week. And again, happy Mother's Day. This week, uh, I'm guided to use the uh, Grace Cards by Cheryl Richardson, and then also the Wisdom for Healing Cards by Carolyn Mace. So I'm going to pull three cards from uh, the Grace Cards, and then one extra from the Healing, the uh, Wisdom for Healing. So I just want to just get a message for our highest good for this week and just see what wants to come through and you know when you're shuffling your cards see like this one here I'm really drawn to this one so this is telling me that this is the one that wants to come out from Monday Tuesday and you're really just looking for cards that uh, your eye catches ones that really just kind of feel like this is the one that needs to come out and then what do you want us to know for the weekend? This one here. Okay. All right. And then for the Wisdom for Healing cards, what message would you like to share with us? You know, I, as I'm doing this, I need to remind you that enjoy this week. Uh, I feel like it's going to be kind of a stable, energetic week, but they're also saying to tie up loose ends for this week and also get prepared because as we move into the following week, which I will, I will make sure I mention, um, May 18th begins Mercury Retrograde. So you'll always hear me talk about that, and that is watching everything that you do about how you communicate and uh, really taking caution in um, just make, being mindful of everything, okay? So the first part of this week, it is about connect. And the card says, find your center. And when we stay connected to our spiritual core, the beat and most advantageous, okay, I'll try that again. Find your center. When we stay connected to our spiritual core, the best and most advantageous path unfolds before us. So this is really about connecting to your higher self and also connecting with, I'm hearing even getting outdoors with this too, okay? Um, you know, I'm really drawn to, I see the water scene in here, so this may be even connecting with nature. But this is all about connection. And this is even our spiritual core and our spiritual being. Uh, this is connecting with other like-minded individuals that I'm also hearing with this too. So they're saying to get out. I, I, I keep hearing to get outdoors and to connect with other people that are uh, ones that are going to be able to really help you along your life purpose. Now, as we get into the middle part here, this is saying trust. So this, again, goes with connecting with trusting individuals. The more we follow our intuition, the more we find that the right doors open to assist us in fulfilling our life purpose. So this is about trusting. And I see a seashell here, which, again, is very much on an emotional, uh, an, on an emotional nature, in an emotional nature for us, I should say and that this is about learning to trust our own intuition, and this is connecting with our own intuition and our higher self. This is also saying that to trust the guidance that you're given, because they're going to be giving us guidance that is going to be something that they're saying that you can trust. So letting your ego and getting that out of the way and being more attuned with your higher vibrational self will align you to those doors that will be open for you. This is also uh, pointing, the ra pointing the way toward like-minded individuals. I don't know why I can't talk today. <laughs> so this is what this is telling me here. So this is, again, connecting and then trusting. And I see that she's facing the, this card here. So this is going to be... Uh, important too, because this is about believe. So this is trusting and believing. 
And this says, when we marry intention with action, miracles happen. So this is saying that, you know, it, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that one saying from Wayne Dyer. Uh, you know, we've heard the old saying, you know, I will believe it when I see it. Well, he has mentioned in his uh, audio tapes, you know, I will, I will see it when I believe it. And that's what this card always, whenever I see this, reminds me of that. You know, I will see it when I believe it. So when we believe it is when we will actually see it. Okay, this is the law of attraction. And this is trusting that what we're feeling and believing that what we are wanting to happen and occur is going to happen, actually. Okay, but this is about our intentions. This is putting the uh, action steps into play. Because if you're wanting something to occur for you, we can't just sit back and, and wait for a winning lottery ticket to occur. We actually have to make the step and go out and buy the lottery ticket. And that's what this is saying, is that when we put the action steps into play, that's when we will actually uh, take notice and start to see the miracles that will occur. Now, today's lesson from the Wisdom for Healing is, now this is interesting because this is saying identity change. So it says, identify one small change that you've been postponing that would improve your life. This is in relationship with these cards right here. This could be anything from cleaning a drawer to getting a new hairstyle. Change symbolically can be frightening. And um, you're, basically your goal is to recognize that you postpone even small insignificant changes because intuitively, you know that they can ignite powerful ones, all right? And again, this goes back with all of this, is that even if we just make that one little small change, it creates a ripple effect to bigger and greater things. So again, as if you're taking this small pebble and throwing it into a pond, that creates one ripple, which creates another and another and another, kind of like the butterfly effect. So this is trusting, very much trusting that the changes that you're wanting to occur for this week, when we believe that we can make those changes, again, that's when all of the miracle occurs and happens. So a very powerful um, message as it tells us to really listen intuitively to make those changes. I'm also hearing changing from the inside out. So it is almost as if we're not able to make external changes more so than what, what we can do on the inside, okay? We can do both, but it's the ones on the inside, the internal changes the, that are the most powerful ones that lead to the external changes, if that makes any sense, okay? I hope this reading resonates with you. Thank you for all of my subscribers and my new ones. I appreciate that, and have a wonderful week, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.